Um, and before we begin, by the way, a um, please keep Doug Flutie in your prayers. Um, you know, the 84 Heisman Trophy winner out of Boston College, who, by the way, um, will be attending uh, this area's game. And again, keep keep him in your prayers because um, he lost his parents um, earlier in the week. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, they, they both died uh, just one hour apart from the other. Um so again, keep your thoughts and prayers with the Flutie family. You know, Doug Flutie, of course, has you know been a TV analyst. You've seen him on those commercials, um, you know, for Rivalry Week. Uh, probably didn't say it right, but um, no pun intended. Um, he's also done a lot of work um, uh, raising money for autism. Um, I think his I think um, his son has autism. But keep him again in your thoughts, your prayers, everything. Um, to lose your parents, uh, to lose them both just 60 minutes apart from the other, I, I couldn't imagine. Now, as far as the picks this past week, uh, I stuck uh, big time. There were a lot of upsets, and I was impacted by them big time. Uh, four and nine is what I went against the spread, uh, while the uh, dime went seven and six. Okay, so I once had a nine-game lead over the coin, down to just three. Okay. And I'm barely above 500 for the year. 62, 61, and 7 against the spread. Coin, 59, 64, and 7 against the spread. All right, time for our selections for the week. We begin in the Big 12. Of course, for my pick on OU and uh, uh, TCU, check out the weekly matchup show. It's also on this webpage. Baylor, Oklahoma State, it's now a pick em, okay? It's now a pick em after OSU was favored by one. I think Oklahoma State wins this game, and if you're a Sooner fan, you need o OSU to win. You need Oklahoma State to win. Normally, you'd really guess OSU. You need them to win because when you play the Cowboys, assuming the Sooners can get past TCU, OSU will be ranked as high as possible, and that will buff up the Sooner resume, assuming that OU can win Bedlam, which is a big assumption that won't be easy. But if OSU loses... Um, it's, it'll still be a big game, but nationally, it will hurt the Sooners a little bit. So, I think the, the Cowboys, they've answered every single time this season. Last week, had a close call, but came from behind to beat Iowa State. Baylor, I don't think, comes with this game healthy, and there's no question that they miss um, Seth Russell. So, give me OSU, and it gets it straight up. And if the coin likes, um, and since there is no favorite in this game, we're going to say if the coin lands on heads, it likes OSU, tails, Baylor. Normally, I would say that the coin would pick the favorite. If it lands on heads, tails, it likes the underdog. So in this case, it lands on heads, so it's going to take the Cowboys. we got West Virginia at Kansas. 28-point favorites are the Mountaineers. And normally, I would pick against Kansas. After all, they usually don't cover spreads. But last week, they did. And West Virginia, I think, wins this game. But because they don't play their best ball on the road, um, I don't think they cover. So give me Kansas plus the 28, and the coin is going to go with um, West Virginia. Iowa State at Kansas State because the schedule says so, and both teams are not having great seasons, and that's to say the least. Give me K-State at home, though. Um, Iowa State, if this game won Ames, I would take Iowa State because they've been much better at home this year. Win or lose, on the road they've been dreadful. K-State minus the 5.5, and, and the coin is going to go with K-State. You have Notre Dame, Boston College, to play at Fenway Park. Um, of course, home of the Red Sox, so they're going to convert to a football field for Saturday. Notre Dame's a 15-point favorite. Remember, the Irish, they're out of home games. And, of course, they're an independent, so they don't play a conference championship game. The following week, they play Stanford. Could the Irish, you know, who right now, the season ended, would play in that playoff because they're number four. Are they looking ahead to Stanford? Hard to get motivated against the Boston College team that hasn't really been good this season. Um, I think Boston College, though, not too bad on defense. We'll keep it within that 15-point spread. So give me BC plus the 15, and the coin is going to go with Boston College as well. Big Ten now, Michigan State, Ohio State. This is when the Buckeye schedule gets tough. I mean, really tough. 14-point favorites. I think Ohio State will um, show the country just how good they are. 
14 points, though, is way too much. I think Ohio, Ohio State wins too many offensive weapons, but I think Michigan State offensively will come alive as well and keep it within that two TD spread. So give me the Spartans plus the 14. Coin is going to go with Ohio State. Also in the Big Ten, Michigan at Penn State. Could the Wolverines be looking ahead to um, the Ohio State Buckeyes? Possible. Possible. I think this is one of those upset specials. Penn State's defense is very good. And the Nittany Lions are quietly, you know, having a pretty nice year. They don't put up a lot of offensive numbers, but defensively they're good. And at home, I'm going to give Penn State the end. So give me the Nittany Lions um, plus the three and an upset. And the coin's going to agree and like Penn State. Northwestern at Wisconsin, two teams uh, that have had, you know, not great years, but good years. Of course, Northwestern's been a bit of a surprise this year in college football, um, you know, turning things around. Great job by Fitzgerald's squad. I think they keep it within a 10-point spread. Give me the Wildcats uh, plus the 10, and the coin is going to go with Wisconsin. And you have Purdue at Iowa. Yeah, people are talking about the Hawkeyes. They're undefeated, top five in the country. They got Nebraska coming up, which is a rival. So I think um, Iowa wins this game, but mentally, I'm not sure um, if they're, how serious they're going to take the Boilermakers. So give me Purdue plus the 22.5, and, and the coin is going to uh, take uh, Iowa. Okay, moving on to the SEC. You have LSU. That's right, Bayou Bengals, the Tigers. Road game coming up against Ole Miss. And Tigers have lost two in a row. Fournette has been pretty much under wraps, but I think he breaks out uh, this particular game. And remember, um, Ole Miss uh, will again be without uh, Denzel um, Kandichi, their linebacker. Um, so that will be a tough chore. It's in Oxford, but I think LSU covers. Give me the Tigers uh, plus the six and a half. And the coin is going to go with Ole Miss. And moving on, let's talk about the uh, Pac-12. you got UCLA at Utah. Utah only giving a point and a half. I do think Utah gets things figured out. Um, you know, they have not been very good on, on the road. But at home at Salt Lake City, different story. I think they take care of the Bruins. Give me Utah minus the one and a half. And the coin is going to go with Utah, too. And speaking of the uh, Pac-12 Conference, you got Cal at Stanford. That's right, Cal at Stanford, the big game as they call it. Stanford might be thinking they're looking ahead to uh, Notre Dame. Um, but I think the Cardinals have, you know, they, they probably feel that they, that they have a lot to prove. Of course, I still think they should have dropped in the rankings. I, I don't think there's any question about that. But I think Stanford um, will bounce back and at least show Cal that they're still the better team in this rivalry. Give me the Cardinal minus the eleven. And the coin is going to go with Stanford. And you have USC at Oregon. At the beginning of the season, we were all looking forward to this matchup, one of the biggest in the country. And then last month, we're like, ah, who cares? Neither team's ranked. But both teams have, you know, have worked their way back to the top 25. Barely, but they're both in the top 25. Oregon right now is playing the better football, um, in my opinion. Give me the Ducks minus the four. And the coin is going to disagree and take the Trojans. And some other games to uh, mention, um, the AAC, okay? You have Memphis against Temple. Memphis cannot go to the AAC championship games. They've already got two conference losses, but they can make life havoc for Temple. I think Memphis offense will show. It's going to be a high-scoring game. Give me the Tigers, minus two, and the coin is going to take um, Memphis. And you have Navy against Tulsa. We mentioned earlier, you know, three games in the Sooner State all at the same time with major bowl implications because Navy, of course, is trying to qualify for a major bowl game. Um, I think Tulsa, because of their high-scoring offense, uh, will keep this interesting for a little bit. Um, but I think Navy, ball control will be too much. And once Navy gets going, they're hard to stop. Give me the midshipmen, minus the 13, and the coin is going to take Navy too. And let's talk about Clemson. Number one team in the country as we wrap up the picks. Hosting Wake Forest. Clemson is uh, giving 29 points. In my opinion, that's not enough. I think Clemson will steamroll past, you know, past Wake Forest. Wake Forest played you know, admirably against Notre Dame, but you have to wonder what their health is like. they got to be a little bit beat up after playing a physical Irish team. I think that will show. Clemson getting Wake Forest at a great time in terms of trying to make a, beast, a, a, a you know, playoff statement. Give me the Tigers, minus a 29 and the coin is going to agree and take Clemson. Those are my picks. What were yours for the week? A reminder, my 
college football post game of OU and TCU late Saturday night or early Sunday. So check it out. Thanks for watching Strictly College Football.